Hey guys, Zorgo here with another YouTube video. Today we are going to talk about buddies, a new mechanic that's getting introduced into Battlegrounds and I'm going to reveal 5 new of them as well. So let's start with what are buddies. Buddies are new minions that are getting added into the game that are tied down to your hero. So every hero has a unique buddy. And the way you get the buddy is you have a meter that you can charge by popping divine shields, winning or tying fights, entering the combat phase or dealing damage to your enemies. And once you charge it up, you can get up to three copies of the buddy in total and that can triple as well. The triple is a normal triple, so you get the discover from a higher tier 2. And if you want more details about the uh, buddy system overall, those were, were basically cut down to the basics, you can check out our views video in the description. Here's a more detailed version of it. And my overall thoughts of the buddy system as a whole is, it's, I think it's really exciting for the game. First of all, change is always great. And what I really like about buddies in general is, it basically solves the problem of having a hero power being the only indicator for strength. Like we had armor now as a band-aid fix you could basically say, but now we have buddies as well, which adds a new complex way of being able to buff or nerf heroes as well in the future, while making the game really exciting and unique as an approach. So I'm really exciting and looking forward to it. And let's not waste more time with talking and let's get right into the reveal. So the first buddy I'm going to reveal is Master Galrian, which is Vol'jin's buddy. I'm really happy and excited that I'm allowed to share him specifically, because as some of you might know, Vol'jin is one of my favorite heroes in the game. So having the honor of sharing his buddy is really great. So let's dive right into it. First of all, let's start with the Tavern tier. That's something I didn't mention yet, but Master Garren is a tier 3 minion, as you can see. The buddies have tiers, from tier 2 to tier 4. Tier 2 means you will get the buddy around 7 gold, tier 3 around 8 gold, and tier 4 around 9 gold. So you, uh, that means that Master Garren you can expect around 8 gold. 8 gold is the turn that you are usually on tier 3 and you either decide to buy tier 3 cards or level to tier 4. Master Garrin having 8-5 stat line makes it really tempting to just level aggressive with. So I think that's a good approach to this buddy. You can basically utilize the tempo you gain from it to either save HP in the early game, which is Vol'jin's biggest flaw usually, that he can take too much damage in the early mid games sometimes. So this buddy helps uh, to prevent that case. Or you can buy Divine Shield units early on and you have a strong buddy that you can buff up and basically buff two Divine Shields thanks to it. Because that's another thing you want to do on Vol'jin. You want to stack stats on one or two units and with Master Gadrin you can split those stats on two other units. Which is a really good effect if you think about it. And then you can basically set up for your late game uh, setup, which is usually involves Gem Splitter, Shaker, Deflector Bots, and Necrolite. And if you want to know more about the Necrolite interaction and don't understand what I'm talking about, I have another YouTube video where I explain it. So you can check that one out. It's also in the description. So I'm really, really looking forward to play Master Guardman and see how it plays out in the Play field. Okay, the second card we have is Tusca Raider, which is a tier 3 buddy. Give a minion plus 1-1 one, one for each pirate you played this game. And now we have something special. It is also a pirate tribe. So who could have a buddy like that? Obviously it's Patches. This is Patches buddy and this card is interesting for multiple reasons. So let's dive right into it. First of all, it has a pirate tribe, so you can, as we talked about it earlier, you can triple buddies. Since it's a pirate card, you will probably keep it around on the board anyways, so you can triple it for an even greater effect that you give a minion plus 2-2. Two two. The second thing is, it has a better cry, so cards like Bran gain a lot of value because you can basically double the effect 
and Patches is one of the heroes that kinda likes to either be on 5 early on or triple into 5 drops because Hogar Tony are such great win conditions for Patches. So it's not that unlikely that you end up in a situation where you will have a brand either offered in the shop or discover into it. And now the re key thing that I missed the first few times when I got the card introduced to, uh, to myself as well. This card says give a minion plus one one for each pirate you played this game, not give a pirate plus one one. So that means you can buff either divine shed units or cleaves or neutral cards or just pirates. But it gives you the option and being flexible is always a good thing. So we might end up in a meta where you buff one or two big uh, divine shield cards as well on patches. So I'm really curious how this one plays out in the live patch. And let's move on to the next card. Next card we are going to talk about is Asher the Harbor Dasher. After you sell a minion, gain plus one one. It's also a tier three buddy and has three three stat line. The buddy to this hero is Daryl. So now something interesting comes into play. Like this is such a strong effect, right? After you sell a minion, game plus one one. It's really good for Daryl, specifically because tokens count double. This card skates for free on your board. And uh, usually you have the board space anyways to provide an extra card. And that's um, the meter and how it fills up. Since winning or tying fights and dealing damage to enemies, both count to the meter that makes it even better to maybe stay down in levels with Daryl and uh, dance really aggressive so you get earlier access to Asher the Harbor Dasher, which is already a good thing to do on Daryl. So that's the kind of approach I want to take at least. In the early days we will for sure know more once we play the patch how fast the buddy actually comes. But I think that would be a cool way to play the hero to stay on tier 1 dance uh, early on, get Ash as a Harbor Dasher early on, find more tokens on one, dance pop bots, da dance trick stars, and play the game from there and see if this is enough to win. Or, I mean Daryl never wins, let's be honest, to get the top three or top two. So with that being said, let's move on to the next hero. Next we have Brand's Epic Egg, which belongs to Brand. And it's a tier 2 buddy, taunt death Ritter, summon a random battle cry minion and add a copy of it to your hand. So it's basically a genie for battle cry minions. And I think Brand's epic egg will be one, will make Brand one of the strongest heroes in the game, if not the strongest overall. And the reason I think that is the way Brand works already. Like, Bran is already strong as a hero. Bran is a win condition in its own that you get every game. And you have 8 armor currently on Bran. And now you have a buddy that gives you value every turn. That will make Bran so consistent, honestly. Like, you can keep the Bran's epic egg probably for a really long time as well, since you have Bran, Bran's epic egg. egg one buff slot. So you have four uh, board spaces still open for cards. So you can either cycle tokens or buffs depending on the game state and probably keep Ren's Epic Egg for at least four to five turns and then snowball your lead with the better Christ that you might get from Brand's Epic Egg. And I'm really curious to obviously see if my theory is true and this will play out in the uh, live patch as well. So the whole concept is really cool of the Brand's Epic Egg and I'm really excited to play him myself. The last card we are talking about is Shadow One, which belongs to Maeve. It's a tier two buddy with a better cry. Your next hero power makes the target golden and awakens one turn faster. This is a really cool and powerful effect and fits Maeve perfectly playstyle wise. Let's dive into Maeve's gameplay to explain why. So Maeve is a hero that has the objective in the early game to collect pairs. Likes to stay on tier 1 till 6 gold, just like Rafan. 
and likes to hero power on six gold, a triple, and level aggressive for a six drop usually. Sometimes a five or four, depending on tribes. And Shadow Warden is a card that you get on seven gold and awakens one turn faster. As you can see, you can do something really cool, which is you can line up another triple, so you have a double discover turn, either for double fives, six, fours, whatever. The point is, it's really flexible, consistent, gives you a win condition, because another problem I sometimes has is you suffer from inconsistency in the early game, not hitting a triple, might have to stay longer down, might have to play with no triples, look for direction actively, take too much damage, bleed, die. And this is something that might prevent the case more often. Another thing is, you have two more buddies waiting for you, since you get up to three buddies in total. So the hero power is also really strong in the mid and late, later game stages of the game. Where you can hero power powerful cards like Bran, Agam, Lightfang. Okay, probably not Lightfang, but you get the point. Or you can hero power tech cards like Selfless, maybe even a Zep, if you know the whole lobby is playing beasts or mechs, why not? Or cards like maybe even an Amalgadon, if you have two Amalgadons already on board. Like, this card is so good, even in later game stages, and it's so flexible and has so many unique ways of using it. That I really look forward to play my Eve Legged. I'm so excited to play this hero. I think it's a really cool design. And I'm looking forward to play this hero the most. So this was a reveal. All five buddies are revealed now. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the whole buddy mechanic. And what your favorite buddies are so far. You can also give me feedback which is really appreciated. Because usually I don't do videos like this. I'm more a streamer myself, I stream a lot on Twitch TV slash Zorgo underscore HS and upload stream highlights on this YouTube channel that you are watching right now, so you might consider subscribing and commentate the games with uh, basically the key turns and otherwise have the raw live gameplay edited together with IC. So check out my other videos like subscribe thank you very much again blizzard for giving me the opportunity to do this it was a ton of fun and now i hope you have a nice day and we might see each other again